awesome, awesome, Jen. So, okay, Jen, how great. are you today? I'm fine. It's nice summer weather here. So, where are you sitting? In which city? Oh, uh, I'm in India. In India? Yeah. That's pretty far away. Hello to oh, India. Yeah. Like, Amazing. I'm fine today. Like, we have some interviews. So, I'm pretty relaxed. Wonderful, Jen, wonderful. So, Jen, your eighth studio album, Eraser, is to be out on August 26th. So, can you tell me a bit about the making of this album and the production behind this new album? Yeah, well, um, it's about species that will die out soon. Oh, so, it's she's... about endangered animals. Um, and we try to write a soundtrack for each animal. So, and of course, this meant we want to have a natural recording. So there's no samples on the album. Everything is real recorded in a very good studio. So no drum samples and stuff. It's all the real deal. And uh, listening to the music that you have created for Eraser, it all sounds like it's all in extinction all the animals and the birds that are coming into extinction. So it's particularly concept based on those things. So is there any particular reason that you chose this particular topic? Well, our drama, he watched a documentary about the Greenland shark, like last year, early last year. And they said that this animal is endangered. And so there are uh, just a few left on the whole planet. And then we did some research and we found out that there's a lot of endangered animals. So we made a list together with um, Greenpeace, which is a, an environment organization here. And uh, yeah, so we made a list and we tried to be diverse as possible. So we have a gorilla and the reno and the bee and the sloth and stuff like that. So it's very different animals. So we try to write really different music for those animals. So Basically, it's a soundtrack, and it's very intense and emotional, I think. Wonderful, wonderful, Jen. And two videos for Camilla and Giants Living. Great uh, videos for those two things. So do you have plans Thank to come you. up with more videos from this album? Yeah, like uh, we uh, just have a new video for Eraser, which is the title track for the human, which is also one of the species. So uh, it's out now, and we maybe do another video. So then we maybe have four videos mm -hmm. for the new album, but we are still talking about number four. But now there's uh, three videos. So it's uh, the human, the gorilla, and the albatross. Sounds good, Jen. And any particular plans for the day of the release on August 26th? Well, we don't have a release show or something like that. We were thinking about that, but uh, there's so much to do at the moment in terms of interviews. We are playing festivals mm -hmm. here in uh, Europe, and we will do a big tour in Europe next year in springtime, like Germany and other countries in Europe. So actually, we are pretty busy, and uh, there will be a lot of press articles out end of August in a lot of magazines and stuff like that. Sounds good. And do you guys have planned something special like a merchandise, wine ice, uh, anything special to go along with this album? Yeah, we have, uh, I think, four different vinyl colors. We have a box um, that you can order at our web shop. If you go to our website, longdistancecalling.de, uh, there you will find the shop as well. And the box also has a limited vinyl. It has the Diggy book. It has some flower seeds. It has some art prints and everything. So it's a very nice box and a very nice layout. And also with the merchandise, with the t-shirts, it's everything's fresh and new. Yes, and we can't wait until people can finally hear the music and see the whole artwork, which is really, really nice. Amazing, amazing. And the band was started back in 2006. So how has the musical journey been for you guys so far? It was a wild ride. Like every album sounds different. We tried something with vocals in the middle on two albums. Then we went back to fully instrumental. And I think we found our place as an instrumental band. That's where our best 
and uh, it's very atmospheric and that's where we feel most comfortable i think so mm -hmm. we had a lot of support tours with metal bands with indie bands very different styles and when we play festivals we always realize we don't fit anywhere but at the same time we fit anywhere because we're not a metal band we're not a rock band we're not an indie band it's like it's everything is in the music so we can go on very different locations and i think the music evolved it became more progressive over the time uh more complex the sound became better and i'm totally proud of the new album and also of the sound because the production is is so good and interesting because nowadays every everyone can make an album on a computer and it sounds okay yeah. or it sounds good but we wanted to do a real old school recording like back in the days but with a technique of today like very state of the art and modern sounding and jen would you like to share some of the greatest moments that has happened to you over the years that's a good question maybe i think one of the moments is when we played rock am ring for the first time which is the biggest festival in germany we toured and played with one of our favorite bands like deftones and anathema and opeth and stuff like that so those were really cool things to happen and also with the last album uh, we entered the german charts on number seven so this was our first top 10 album which is great i think for an instrumental band without vocals mm -hmm. it's not very typical and to achieve that was was a really really good feeling and i think hard work and patience pay off absolutely absolutely and uh, for long distance calling now eraser is going to be out on august 26th so do you want to travel to places and countries that you have never been before for this particular tour? Well, I just hope that people will listen to the album and to take some time to dive into the, the whole complex and the theme of the album and to get some information on the internet uh, about all those animals that and every one of us can do something to save the planet. I think you have kids as well, and we have kids, and we want the world to be there for a little while longer. So it's important that every country, every individual does something to protect the earth and ourselves in the end, because uh, when the world dies, we will die as well. And uh, that's not a nice thing. And I hope that we will spread the word in as many countries as possible and to play some new places. We've never been in India before. We've never been in America before. And this would be really nice to come over to those countries at some point. Amazing, amazing, amazing And how as a band do you look into the future? Well, we hope that the COVID pandemic will be over sometime. Like at the moment we can play shows. We couldn't play shows in the last two years. That was yeah. pretty difficult. But now we had a big tour in May and now we're playing festivals. We are planning this tour for next year. So hopefully, yeah, uh, we can play as much as possible. And uh, at some point we will start writing new music. But at the moment we want to play and to spread the word with this album as much as possible. Amazing, Jan. And Jan, finally, what would be the message that you want to give to the fans around the world? Yeah, I would like to say, listen to the album, take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of the world in general. And at the moment, there's crazy times. We have war he here in Europe. We have, uh, yeah, we have climate change, we have the pandemic, it's a lot of shit going on, so music can be a very beautiful thing to keep your mind sane, and uh, we, we do what we can do with music, 
And if you listen to Eraser, you will find a lot of different emotions on it. And uh, it's aggressive, it's soft, it's very melodic, it's very diverse. So I hope that the album makes people happy. Absolutely. And Jan, I want to thank you so much for giving me today this opportunity to have this great interview with you to talk about Eraser, the upcoming album on August 26th. A great album, nine amazing tracks, brilliant work from you guys and totally outstanding work. And there is a big message for the people around the world, what is happening around us currently. So thank you so much for this message and for the thank beautiful you album. Much. And you have a great thank evening. Thank you very much, Keith. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. Cheers.